Hey everybody, and welcome back to another episode. So in this episode, I am trying to convince all of the residents of the Botanical Gardens to head over to Edgewater. And to do that, I got a few quests I need to finish up on. Uh, not that one as such, but... Then... Right, I've done that one. Don't need to worry about that. Uh, need to go and find Zoe. I don't know how much longer it'll last okay. without power. Where's Thomas? There he is. Everybody keeps staring at me. It's not my fault the power's dead. Whoa, <laughs> Miss Parvati. <laughs> hey, you're uh, what? Um, how, how are you? Hi, hi, hi. Uh, hello. Are you uh, uh, are things safe out here? How are you keeping? Great, just great. I've been trying to keep stuff running, just like you. Only I'm not so. Wait. They didn't kick you out, did they? Oh, gosh, no. I, I'm just along with this fella here. I've seen you wandering around here. You don't look like you're coming from town. I'm just passing through. Sorry, I just wasn't sure if you were from town or if you were one of us. Something's been chewing at me, you see. Fact is, I've been, well, lying to everybody here. Camp thinks I'm a mechanical genius, but I couldn't fix a busted chair. Well, never too late to start learning. I could give you a couple of pointers. I'll take all the help I can get. I set my mind to learning the craft of the engineer, you see. I want to make something of myself. You ever heard of the Young Spacer's Guide to Mechanical Engineering? Comes in a set of three. If I had my hands on one of those data pads, I could teach myself the ins and outs. Those are good. My dad kept a copy with him when he was working in the cannery. I know the old community center kept a copy. Should find another one back in town. If you could find me even one of those pads, I'd be greatly obliged. Well, today's your lucky day, Thomas, because I've got one of those pads. No kidding! Really? Well, which one? Uh, the Elusive Part 3. Uh, someone stashed away in the old geothermal plant. The geothermal plant? Now that is just incredible! You really went exploring down there? Adelaide always told us it was swarming with hostile mechanicals. I appreciate you going through all that trouble. In fact, I put aside something special. On the off chance that somebody would search out those data pads for me. I'll let you know if I find any of the others. Sure! I'd be glad to take them off your hands. Alright. Yeah, I'm gonna go and, uh, go and look for Zoe now. Uh, probably would be a better idea if I had any ammo, but if I, whatever. It is what it is. Run! Oh, I haven't got anything for health. Shit. Did not realize that when I started shooting. to uh, let me go back to edge of water the general store uh, pick up some health stuff 
Mm, and some ammo if I can afford it. It's not the best choice. It's Spacer's choice. Order yours today. Okay, need to go and rescue Zoe. And find the last two books that are of Thomas's collection and then talk to Reed. I can talk to Reed when I'm here, actually. Uh, right. But yeah, better go and grab whatever I need first, though. It's not the best. Yeah. Music to my ear. Okay, I'll grab that. I need an assault rifle. Ish. No, I don't really need any of this. Could do with some of that. Let's go and see Thompson, Robson, Thompson. What did I grab? Hey. Alright, yeah, let's go and see this guy. This is a fine day, friend. Power flows through our town like a cool stream of water. I trust Adelaide's people have seen their way to reason. So, when can I expect them back at their post? I spoke to Adelaide. She won't come back as f well, as long as you're here. Then we are at an impasse. Stewardship over this town has been entrusted to me by Spacer's choice. I am not perfect. I have made my share of mistakes. But I have done my best for this town. A change of leadership might be what this town needs. I am a Spacer's Choice man. My father was a Spacer's Choice man. Edgewater may not look like much to some buttoned-up freelancer, but it is my home. Adelaide's people aren't getting sick with the plague. I don't believe you. Plague's a reality of life. Best treatment is a good work ethic. This town doesn't eat anything but salt tuna. Of course you're going to get sick. You are disparaging our parent company and it is not appreciated. We are a Spacer's Choice Saltuna cannery. We eat Saltuna here, and only Saltuna. I'm pretty sure it's your food that's making you sick. You need Adelaide's garden. I don't understand. 
You say Adelaide's growing her own food, but that should not be possible. The soil's gone sour. Company said as much. Our own botanists couldn't grow decent crops for us, so the company got rid of them and shut down the greenhouse. Adelaide's found a way to grow food. She'll come back if you step down. You will excuse me for being skeptical. How exactly is Adelaide growing crops in barren soil? Um, look, Reed. All I know is that it involves some really complicated math, and it works. If Adelaide's found a way to feed her people and cure the plague, then she deserves this office more than I do. I won't stand in her way. My life here is ended. Give me a little time to settle my affairs. I'm sure Adelaide will be glad to see the back of me. You don't have to do this, you know. I do. Adelaide's found a cure for the plague. And she knows how to tend to crop. She's what this town needs. This can't be easy for you. I have always tried to do right by my town. It has never been easy. What are you going to do now? A couple months ago, I might have put in for a transfer. It's a big colony. Spacer's Choice has other towns. Now, I couldn't show my face in any of them. Why not? No such thing as an honorable resignation. Suppose I could find a place outside the walls, or put in for early retirement. You won't last a day outside the walls. You know that. I don't know. I could see myself lasting a week. Take care, Reed. Okay, is this the right exit? Like, am I, am I, am I going to be facing the right way? The Manti Queen examined. I think I'm facing the right way too. Yep, just need to head up there. So I'll take a right basically. The first sort of intersection I get to, take a right. Town now. Here we go. Oh, 
Oh, this is going well. Okay, so most of these guys are down. And they ain't getting back up. So where's Zoe? Wow! You put those marauders in the dirt quicker than the masked marketeer! Teach me your ways! Yo, Zoe? The people are looking for you. What? You mean Adelaide's little congregation of nature-loving nobodies? I could not possibly be less interested in them. You, on the other hand, you were a sight to behold. If I had half your skills, I'd be the greatest outlaw the coast has ever seen. I've been sent to find you. Why? Adelaide wants me back on garden duty or something? Thanks, but I'm not going anywhere. This is where I belong. Yeah, well, you should go back. People are worried. I doubt that. Nobody in that camp really cared about me. What about Stefan? You two were friends. Yeah, I suppose you're right. Also, he could carry on a conversation. Unlike these hooligans. I'll take my stuff and head on back, I suppose. Grace is going to be glaring knives at me. So I've got that to look forward to. Right, I need you to clarify something for me. I'm great at clarifying. Are you a, a prisoner here? Uh, no. I insinuated myself into their company, see? And they didn't seem to mind one whit. I'm impressed. How did you pull it off? I may have bartered them a few boxes of Adrena time, but yeah, I'm sure that's got nothing to do with it. How are you even alive? I don't know. The vital processes that constitute the miracle of life are mysterious and unknowable. Oh, you mean around these guys? The marauders wouldn't hurt me, they love me. I'm practically their queen. Yeah, it must be my natural charisma. And why did you leave the camp? I got kicked out of Edgewater on account of falling sick with plague and stealing some medicine to treat myself. I'd heard some outlaws set up camp in the botanical labs. I decided to throw in with them, seeing as I always wanted to be an outlaw myself. Instead, what do I find but a bunch of former workers camped out around a greenhouse. I couldn't just go back to the cannery, so I was stuck with them. Okay, well, I'll be off. Nice meeting you, Zoe. Okay, well Zoe seems to be holding her own. Let's get going. Actually, uh, journal. Let's go and do the other quest. So I need to go there and then back to town. Probably should have done the town one first. Okay, should be coming up on the building now. Uh, can't remember if I've... I think I've cleared the outside. But I can't remember... If I went in the building or not. I don't think I did. Uh, 
All right, let's go in. And then I have to go back to Edgewater. Not sure where exactly in Edgewater, but that's the last book location. And then I can tell Adelaide to go back to Edgewater and I can get relieved of this planet. All jumped down there. Not oh, for God's sakes. that done. Let's go. And the good thing is from doing all these quests I do have stuff to sell so I should have some money by the end of all this. Even though I bought like a shit ton of ammo for no real reason at the geothermal plant. Shot my way through all those droids when all I really needed to do was talk to that weird hermit guy in the bottom of the shaft and uh, he would have given me the magic passcode to turn them all on each other. Ugh, if I only I knew that. Alright. Last, last is Edgewater. Yeah, Manti pillar. Some of these creatures, this looks well. I say some. All of these creatures look absolutely disgusting. Still, though, I take my well. Yeah, okay, that's pretty interesting. They appear to be all like different life cycles for each creature. Same creature, just in different stages of its life cycle. I thought they were all like different creatures. Hmm, that's interesting to know. Okay, let's go and see where this book is. It's, it's up in that guy's office, isn't it? Or is it? No, it's not. Thank God for that. Nope, never mind this. No, it's not. <laughs> oh my God, this is. Ah, cool. So this is the cannery. to botanical gardens. Mm. 
Raptodon. I haven't come across one of those yet, I don't think. Or have I? I can't tell. I can't tell because the the, the, the infographic things, the pictures in those um, loading screens are, are coloured differently to the actual creatures I'm coming across. So I may have come across a Raptodon. Any luck finding one of those manuals? Today's your lucky day, Thomas. No kidding. Really? Well, which one? Now you got part one. Look at that. Building a computing machine out of Spectrum Potatoes, a primer. I'm just glad it survived all these years. Two whole data pads? Be still my beating heart. Oh, almost forgot your payment. And... More. Well, don't keep me in suspense. Well, here's part two. Found it in the cannery. Ain't that just ironical. If I'd worked a little longer back at the cannery, I might have found this myself. That's a complete set. All three parts. I'm gonna be the greatest engineer Halcyon's ever seen. Um, aside from you, Ms. Parvati, I swear, I'll do you proud. I'm glad we could help, Thomas. I've been saving something for you. Just a little contraption I found. Should fit right into your outfit. Cool. Well, thank you, Thomas. Okay, let's go and see Adelaide. Look at that. The snakes come back. I talked with Reed. He's leaving. So you can come back to Edgewater. I never thought I'd see the day that Reed Thompson abandoned his post. Suppose we all have a breaking point. Suppose it's time our flock made our way back to Edgewater. We must tend to what remains of the town and carry on with our lives as best we may. You're vexing to me, you know? Injuring us with one hand, helping us with the other. Here. I'm giving you something to leave us be. It's a ransom, you understand, not a reward. Edgewater's better off with you running the place. You're telling me you did all this just to put me in charge of Edgewater? Stranger, you are some kind of twisted. I might turn that old cannery into a garden. Got ourselves a whole cemetery bursting with bodies. I need some time to gather my personals. Long walk back to Edgewater. Got a considerable burden to carry. Right, well, have a good life. Right, well, I think I'm going to call it a day for this episode. So in the next episode, I am finally going to be starting up the ship. Because I think that's the only... Yeah. Got a side quest. Okay, I need to return to Grace. Let me do that now. There's Grace. There she is. Marauders can't see us in the dark. Wild canids, on the other hand. I talked Zoe into coming back. We didn't always get along, but I'm glad to know she's safe. What happened, anyway? Uh, she joined up with a band of marauders, and they hadn't hurt her. Zoe joined up with a band of marauders. Zoe. The same Zoe who doesn't know a barrel from a trigger. Well, I've heard stranger things. You pretty much did my job for me. Least I could do is pay you for your trouble. Let me know if I can do something for you. Adelaide's agreed to go back to Edgewater. Didn't think she'd go back so long as Reed was still running the place. Something must have changed. If Adelaide's going back to Edgewater, we'll follow her. I'll leave you to it. Okay, so that's going to be, uh, yeah, call it a day here. Thank you all for watching, it means a lot. If you could leave a like and a comment for the video, uh, for the episode rather, that would be uh, very helpful. And if you haven't done so already, feel free to subscribe, because it'll keep you up to date with the rest of this walkthrough and some of the other walkthroughs that I'm planning on doing. And I got like a whole host of playlists and walkthroughs 
already uploaded, so feel free to check them out. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time.